Expect and where this investigation could go, joining me now is the former member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force, retired uh, police officer Steve Rogers. All right, Steve, you got to tell me something I don't already know about this guy. I, I find out that not only is he an act, he has an active license to carry a firearm, okay, uh, but in addition to that, uh, he is a Trump hater. Uh, he rallied against the Jews. Uh, he had this blog, uh, he posted on this blog, H-I-A-S, which stands for Hebrew Immigration Aid Society. Uh, he says, H-I-A-S likes to bring in invaders that kill our people. I can't sit by and watch my people get slaughtered. I'm going in. Well, Judge, I'll tell you something you don't know about the police response. First of all, people have asked me all day, how is it that the police were so effective so quickly on this Pennsylvania incident and the one in New York? And the answer is the president of the United States quickly and immediately mobilized federal law enforcement officers, the FBI, the ATF, you name it, the president sent them down. And as a result, they quickly closed the case in New York. And you're going to get all the answers to those questions in PA. And let me add this. Did we not forget that it was the prior administration that took the tactical equipment police needed today to, to nail that guy in PA. It was Isn't President Trump who restored it. Isn't that interesting? I remember this. Under the Obama administration, right. they were taking this stuff away, this tactical equipment. All and right. President Trump gave it back. All right. All right. So we've got, we've got that. And, and obviously that is great. And, and this was an incredible amount of time in terms of how they how they got in there and how this coward went back in. And, and unfortunately, now we've got four police officers injured, I believe. Yes. All right. So this guy, we know that he had a license uh, to carry a firearm, correct? Yes. All right. Do we we know anything more about it? It's an active license. What, how did he get it? Well, these are the questions that are certainly going to be asked. As you know, it's a, it's a long investigation, but yeah. they're going to try to find out where the weapons came from. How did he actually get it? Yeah. Uh, they're going to uh, do forensic si studies on all of his uh, computer equipment, cell phones, etc. But you know what's going to be important here? What? The, the psychological profile that the criminal psychologists are going to make on this guy after they speak to him. All right. You and I, both in law enforcement, like, talk to me like you're talking to the DA at okay. the time. OK, good. I don't really care what his motive is because the jury, although they may want to know it, uh, you know, the proof is, did he commit the crime or did he not? Is he sane or is he insane? Do we know if the guy had a job? Did he function normally? Do we know anything about that? Nothing about it right now, Judge. And these are the questions that are going to be answered. But did he do it? Of course he did it, as okay. you said. So he then the only the justification or the only excuse, not justification, that he can proffer is, I was nuts, I was mentally insane. I, I don't even, have... Judge, I don't even buy that. You know, we have people running why. around Tell saying, oh, it's because of rhetoric, it's this and that. Oh, that's well, hogwash. Well, well, you're darn right, it's hogwash. He is responsible for his actions. In regard to all the nonsense about rhetoric, what about the Hollywood movies and violence and all these other things that are around us that promote violence? What about that? OK, so That's he's responsible for his actions. No one else. And I'm going to add something else. The statement that I just read that he posted today uh, indicates premeditation, clear intent, focus, lucid, clear. I'm going in. This guy is connected to time and, 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 and space, and he knows exactly where Bring he is. Bring that before a jury, and yeah. a judge says, says guilty. guilty. There you go. Well, if the judge is, you know. <laughs> James, you know. <laughs> <can you not? laughs> All right, Steve Rogers, thanks so much for being with us tonight. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. All Thank right, you, take James. care. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, and our live coverage of this breaking